Hey and welcome to our video. Today I will show you how to create this inner lines effect uh, inside Microsoft Word. It may look kind of similar to my previous video, but today we will be using a very different effect to achieve the similar looking result. This effect comes from my free ebook text effects in Microsoft Word. I will put the link in the description. So you can see it only takes around six pages or so, so it should be fairly easy to complete. So let's start with a blank document as usual and draw a new text box. So I'll select insert shape text box. And obviously I'll write in lines of course, change the font to be maybe a real black and size to be 150 or so. Now for the text box itself, I will set the shape fill to no fill, outline to no outline. And I will also maybe set the, set the center alignment and change the font color to be white. Now in order to see something we have to draw a rectangle in a black color so I will select insert shapes rectangle and I will draw a bigger rectangle, set this to be a black with no outline and I will move this behind the actual text. Now we will get those lines over the text by an artistic effect which is built inside the word but all those artistic effects could, could only be applied to the images so I have to turn this text into the image so I will select both uh, objects holding the shift key then I will copy this into the clipboard by holding, holding the ctrl c key shortcut I will may jump to the next page and paste this as an image so I will select paste as an image so now we have image I can right click and select format picture and here I can select artistic effect. Now this drop down menu goes outside the recordable area so I can also select those from the ribbon tab here. I will open the artistic effect I will use this effect called line drawing which actually adds a lot of lines. I will keep the transparency to 25% this is the amount of the original image but I will increase the pencil size to be much higher value, maybe around 70 or so, maybe a just a little bit smaller, so I can see that most of the lines are coming from the text. I may still adjust those in the future. This should be fine for now. now I want to get rid of those lines outside the, outside the text itself and only keep the ones which are inside the text. And I will do this by applying a picture corrections. And I will try to increase the contrast so we only see few of the lines and at the same time decrease the brightness so the outer ones will not get visible so I may decrease the brightness to around minus 40 or so 50 and then I will increase the contrast all the way up maybe to 100 maybe not that much maybe 85 62 I don't know Maybe I can not have this brightness that low, I can maybe make it a little bit brighter like this and then I will get better result. Maybe now I can increase the contrast all the way up to 100%. Okay, I get some I get some random colored lines over the text. The just five will get rid of those lines for we once we start uh, playing with color with this for this text. At any point we can go back to the artistic effect which is located here and we can change the pencil size to have longer or shorter lines. I kind of like longer lines so this one. Then I will change the team colors to something different than the standard one, maybe the red violet. And I will recolor this picture using this picture color drop down menu and selecting the recolor, changing the best background color to maybe pink. Kind of like this one. Last time we've showed how to sample a color using the color cap tool. Today I will show you a different method. If we copy this into clipboard, we can paste this into PowerPoint as an image. I will select paste as an image. And PowerPoint already has the eyedropper tool included, so I can open any drop down menu for selecting color and I can select eyedropper tool. I can sample any color, so I will sample this pink one, then I will open this again, select more fill colors, and I should get the values which I need to put inside Word 182, 5 and 102. So I will jump to Word and set the background color for the page, ribbon design, page color, and I will try to recall the values which was 182, 5, 105 I believe. 
well, probably 102. Okay, so I should get the very same color of the background as is the background of this image, and the effect should be complete. And that's it. Thanks for watching.